Aloha, wild-hearted female entrepreneurs. I hope that you're having a beautiful week. I'm here for the Feel Good Friday Success Mindset Meditation. So that's what I'm gonna be leading. <laughs> I feel like we are so busy throughout the week, it's really easy for us to get lost in our day-to-day. -day. So I wanted to lead you in a meditation that's all about feeling good, and it's about what if things could be easy? What if building your business could be easy? What if, you know, just living your life could be easy? And for me to say that that's a big deal because I am not used to things being easy. I grew up in an environment where I had to struggle a lot. You know, my parents did the best that they could, but they were not necessarily the healthiest uh, role models in terms of relationship or even just in terms of parenting us. So I had a lot of things that I had to work through in regards to that. And um, I just sent out a newsletter today, which if you want to be on my newsletters, I send them out every week. I give tips and tools and resources for you to build your business, for you to become a better storyteller, for you to get published, especially if you're working on articles to establish yourself as an expert in your field, or if you're working on a book. And so if any of those things are of interest to you, then please feel free to leave a comment here or send me a message and I can add you to the newsletter. But today, the one that I sent out said that over the next four weeks, I'm going to be going over how there are so many elements that I've overcome. And the reason that I'm sharing this is because my coach, my business coach told me that um, there are so many elements to my own life that I don't see about ways that I've overcome and ways that I'm showing up and being of service. And I believe that each one of us, especially as a female entrepreneur, especially as an intelligent, wild-hearted woman, you've likely been through trauma or challenges or things that you've had to overcome. And so there are so many elements of your life you probably don't recognize are so incredible. Your story is so unbelievable. And so perhaps because of the environment that you grew up in and the ways that you were raised, given your life circumstances, maybe you're used to the struggle as well. And so I'm here to say that you don't need to struggle. Once I became an adult and I did a lot of healing work, the magic that surrounded my life was unbelievable and absolutely phenomenal. I mean, things that perfectly demonstrated that it's not just me who's here, that there's a greater force around us. And I was not raised in an environment that believed in that kind of spirituality. So it took a lot for me to get to that point to embrace what my soul already knew. And I want you to understand that you can allow that magic to happen in your life as well and that things can be easy. Even if you're a female entrepreneur and you're working on building this business, this empire, even if you are a mama on a mission and you are raising a child or children who demand a lot of your time and attention, all of these things can still be done with ease and grace. And so today's meditation is all about feeling good and allowing for things to be easy, allowing for that magic to show up. I recently did a live stream in the Wild Hearted Female Entrepreneurs Group about why it's important to raise your vibe to attract the type of clients that you want. I got off with a bunch of awesome calls today with clients who are so grateful for me for the expertise that I'm sharing with them and I'm just as grateful for them for the ways that they're showing up in my life. And so I want you to have that extreme happiness and joy in whatever it is that you're doing. And I want you to believe that you're not alone, that all of these angels, this divine guidance team, I use the word angels and I'm like, ah, that's a little woo, but you have this divine guidance team of energy and forces around you that are really aiming to uplift you and build you up in the ways that you are meant to show up in this world. So, this is going to be a real quick meditation. Uh, if you want to get comfortable wherever you are, I will put my coffee cup down on the ground. And just close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. And relax your shoulders away from your ears. See if you can maintain the natural curve of your spine. Relax the muscles in your face. And maybe even turning the corners of your mouth up into a smile. So it's easy for us to get lost in the things that we think we need to do. And it's easy to compare ourselves to the wins that we see on social media and everywhere else around us. Always comparing our insides based on someone else's outsides. You never know what's happening in someone else's world. And I remember this anecdote that if we all got it together in a room and we put all of our problems and our worries and the things that are stressing us out on a table in the middle of the room, each of us would gladly pick up the things that we place down because in comparison to everybody else, when we see everyone else's truths, 
we don't want theirs. We're okay with ours. So you're given these lessons to grow and to evolve. But more importantly, when you're able to take a step back, you can see that things don't need to be as difficult as we made them. So my husband is a great reminder of this. Reminding if something actually is indeed essential or if I have just told myself that it is. And when we're able to have a bit of that distance, when we don't feel like we need to be the one who's in control all the time of every single nuance and detail, which admittedly is challenging if you are a mama and if you are trying to do your very best in all respects of your life, if we can simply remember that we are being nurtured and nourished in every single moment of every day, then perhaps we could allow for that serendipity and synchronicity and magic to come into play. It takes a lot to operate from a way that is different from the way that you innately are or the ways that you have trained yourself to be. So the next time that you go out into the world and you're starting to feel that familiar anxiety, you're starting to feel that familiar stress or worry, ask yourself, what is the opposite of what I would normally do? What is a way that I can shift this mindset, that I can shift my perspective, that I can be in that space of allowing and receiving rather than pushing and doing? What is one little thing, one baby step, where I can approach this differently than I would normally do it? What is the opposite of what I would normally do? And this will be a practice, especially if you've created that groove of the way that you know how to be. But if you can try this out, just try it out for size, you will live your way into a different reality. And remember that you are only one decision away from the life of your dreams. Just one. Taking a deep breath in. And taking a deep breath out. Let's do that two more times. Breathing in. Maybe the deepest breath that you've breathed all week. Holding it at the top. And gently opening up your mouth, sighing everything out. And doing this one more time. Breathing in deep. And holding at the top and then gently relaxing all of your muscles, your ideas, your expectations, letting it all go. And gently floating your eyes open. And I hope that you have a beautiful weekend. If you have any questions whatsoever, please find me in the Wild Hearted Female Entrepreneurs Facebook group. I'm there a lot and um, sharing lots of tips. There's beautiful women in that group, hundreds of women. So I really invite you to be there and show up. And I look forward to he hearing from you and mahalo for being part of this tribe. Aloha.